And how you guys doing? This segment of the show, I wanted to take a minute to address a lot of concerns that we've been getting over the past few months since Biker Angle News has been taking place. And I especially want to address this message to NCOM and all its members' clubs. First and foremost, Insane Throttle is a media publishing company registered with many different type of organizations. So there is a lot of rules that we have to follow. One of the biggest ones being Section 107 of United States Code of Copyright and Fair Use Act. Now, I don't know if many people understand that we pull most of our stories from the AP and Reuters Newswire. Now, what those things are is, well, if you don't know who AP and Reuters are, something's wrong. But anyway, it is a place where reporters and media content providers come to get stories going on. Now, it don't even have to be just bike-related. I'm talking it comes with everything, politics, uh, crime, the whole nine yards. With that said, we use specific keywords to pull our stories, and as you know, it has to do everything with the biker lifestyle. A lot of people have, you know, put the complaint forward about the use of motorcycle gang. Now this is where a section 107 comes into play. We cannot again change any wording whatsoever in one of the stories. I know it pisses a lot of people off, but that's just the way the law works. And as a legal entity, we cannot go against that because, well, one, it's our business. And two, as a media company, as, you know, and that's another thing that people don't understand. A lot of people, they'll see us on Google News and all that good stuff. Do you guys know how much effort it goes into trying to get on Google News? We are the first publication that is anything biker related. Easy Riders hasn't done it through Paisano Publications. Nobody else has done it. But insane throttle when it comes to biker news. Yeah, you got the sites out there that do the reviews and stuff of the manufacturers. But I'm talking hardcore biker news. We are the first ones to get on that platform. And right now, we're actually going through the Facebook process to be recognized as a legitimate news source where we're recommended and all that good stuff. So there, as you can see also on our HarleyLiberty.com, we have all our stuff laid out, everything from the information we receive, from the processes we take, if there's something wrong with the story, or three corrections. We are the first ones, and if anybody's ever been following us knows, we will issue corrections if we're wrong. That is what makes a publishing company and more importantly, a news organization. We are always there to correct the mistakes if we make it. Now, if a story coming off the AP or Reuters is incorrect, there's nothing we can do about that. That is up to the copyright owner or the author of the story to correct that. We cannot. So I just want to make that uh, clear to you because I know a lot of people, well, motorcycle gang, motorcycle gang. There's nothing we can do about it to correct their side of the thing. Now, many people know that we are huge supporters of motorcycle club rights. That being said, we are not, I repeat, are not up for the highest bidder. We are not for sale. We are not there to push a particular club's agenda. We are not out there to push, uh, you know, conspiracy theories. You know, unlike a lot of other websites that are editorial or opinionated, <laughs> just because we're for motorcycle club rights does not mean we will not report the other side. 
We don't wear tinfoil hats. We don't push stories unless we confirm it if it's our editorial type of stories. Again, fact checking. You got to do your fact checking with the other stories coming out on the platform written by other journalists. But personally, when I put out an opinion article, we fact check it. We make sure we go through all the background, all that stuff. And again, if we're wrong, we will correct that story. But a lot of people that have been contacting us, and I'll talk about Biker Angle right now. Biker Angle is a program where people don't have time to go read HarleyLiberty.com. They like listening to uh, the MP3s on their uh, way to work or something like that. They want to get their news for today. That's what we do. We read from our news articles so people can get their information. You know, this ain't something new. This has been going on in radio for over f since it started. People have been reading news articles and stuff like that. So, for those that are concerned about, well, you know, you're talking about gang. No, we are following Section 107 of United States Code Copyright and Infringement Fair Use. Again, we are registered where a lot of these other sites, these so-called sites, are not registered. Basically, they're blogs. Okay, we started out as one and then we got a plan together and said, you know what, this is how we can help the motorcycle club community and the biker lifestyle as a whole. So we started going through the registration processes, the business stuff, getting it all legal eagle. You know, regardless of my personal opinions, and boy, do I make them known sometimes, I will not go against any of that other stuff. That You know what, it's a business, and for those people who want to throw out threats or, you know, try to get us to do this or that, we're just not doing that guy sorry you know what actually you know I actually turned my head once and shook it because I'm sitting here thinking you know what this is a, a platform that is huge worldwide clubs have an opportunity to get its message out I've been uh, interviewed by many newspapers worldwide many news organizations worldwide and it's a chance for them to get it out to the mainstream media. Now, some of our contacts in the mainstream media we can tell you about. New York Times. Huh. Yeah, Washington Post, LA Times. These are uh, connections that we have through uh, the news media. And many of them have done uh, interviews on me. I know I did. The last one when I did was a big, huge paper out of Germany. I've done them out of Oz, United States, the whole nine yards. So here I am thinking, well, clubs usually don't get that kind of access, especially when it's only the bad that's in the media. But we all, all know that bad sells, man. That's what people read. So <laughs> that's a lot that comes over to freaking wire, guys. You know, there's nothing I can do about it. But there is something that you can do about it. Now, instead of all the hurt balls or the hurt feelings, maybe it's time to understand this is 2019. Even though I do support motorcycle club rights, I do not at all whatsoever regardless of the way I thought in the past, support violence, killing over a patch, killing for territory, shooting up for territory. We don't support that. Again, we ain't conspiracy theory over from other biker news sites. No, we're going to call it straight down the middle and get, present both sides of the story. So, I actually argue... That it's on the clubs. On the clubs. That are the ones that need to stop the stories in the media. If you do not like hearing motorcycle gang instead of motorcycle club. And this is the God honest truth. This is just putting it out there straight up hardcore. If you don't want to be labeled as a motorcycle gang. Don't let your members do gang banger or gangster crap. That is entirely on the club and its leadership to keep the club out of the news media. 
Now I get it. There's a few that uh, go around cause problems for the club. But my question is, why isn't something done when it does happen? You know, the, the wagon circle and all that type of stuff around one guy. You know, I get it. Uh, you know, brothers this, brothers that. But in reality, it really hurts your causes. Again, we aren't for the violence, man. So if you got some guy out there going and shooting somebody up over a patch or because they are in the wrong turf, well, you did it. You got to own it, man. You got to own the tag. You know, I, motorcycle clubs used to be so different before all the expansion, the fighting. Actually, everybody knows it, man. They were racing teams out there having fun. They weren't out there doing some of the things they are now. You know, reporting on stories, you know, I just did one out of California, man. You got guys out there slinging methamphetamines, man. Officers of a club freaking slinging meth. Come on, guys, really meth? That is freaking un... It, is the money worth it to destroy not only your club, but to destroy the lives of the families that are having to deal with those who get in possession of the methamphetamines and their whole life is destroyed. That ain't club stuff, man. You know, I cannot go out there and defend anybody that gets caught up selling meth and the name attached to the club. I'm not going to defend it because, quite frankly, I find it disgusting that a club would even let any member or members get into that type of business heroin the same thing man it's like i remember when a guy stuck a needle in his arm he was put on on the street because you couldn't trust the guy because he was a hype nowadays you got clubs going around selling it and yeah there's many of it so there's not much of an argument there the proof's been put out there a lot so when it comes to the word motorcycle game i again i would suggest Keep your members in line, man. Really, keep your members in line and don't let them do this stuff. That is up to the officers. Now, if you want to be, you know, the outlaws, you know, and I'm not talking about the club. I'm talking about the the image. Yeah, you know, that don't have to come along with all the crap because when it comes down to it, you can look at what happened down in Waco and how the police department is down there now. I know everybody, you know, I've done it a lot, cried about uh, the profiling and stuff. But when you step back and think about it, I don't care about the conspiracy theories behind it or whatever the hell happened behind that stuff. People died. People died and a family lost their business because of what happened down there. All the people injured during that uh, melee. And people wonder why the citizens of Texas support local law enforcement or law enforcement and allow them to do that type of stuff. Uh, You know what? It takes common sense to know that people don't like seeing that kind of stuff happening. And that, you know, there's other, you know... You look at Clarksville, you look at uh, the California incidences, Nevada. People, you know what, ain't going to deal with that. And I don't care how many times somebody says motorcycle this or motorcycle gang this, motorcycle club that. The reality is citizens, which you guys say you don't care about, don't. Well, they basically don't care about you then, man. They're the ones who make the boats and are on the juries. But citizens ain't going to put up with that kind of violence. This country is embroiled in some violence. And that just adds to the national discussion. And it makes you look like crap. But again, we will go out there when there is profiling. Make sure we report on it. Make sure we let it be known. Another thing, and I've heard this over and over again, especially lately uh, with the protocols and stuff like that. 2019, that's what it is now. We're going on 2020. This ain't uh, the early days, man. This ain't the 1970s, 1980s. People are a lot different. They got a different mindset than they used to be. 
Uh, I, you know, a wise man told me that, you know, the reason why people get upset about the patches and stuff is because all the hard work they had to put into it to get their own. And you know what? I totally agree with that, especially when it comes to uh, one percenter stuff. If you're going to start a club and put a one percenter diamond on, you better know how to defend it. But then there's the opposite argument of where is it really worth your members freedom to go after one of these guys there is so many 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 clubs now that are popped up that maybe it's time to worry about profiling and doing the thing to make the image a lot better than that kind of crap because you know what i've learned over the last year that people are no longer with you know the street way of doing things they will go to the cops in a heartbeat and what's going to happen is when you try to take their patches and stuff, you're going to go down for arm robbery and uh, intimidation and a whole host of other stuff. And to be quite frankly, you can't fight the government in court. Somebody goes down with that, there's a night, especially with the Fed, there's 98% conviction rate. You get caught up by the Feds, you know they're going to have their stuff in order, and you know the best thing you got is a plea deal at that point. So. You know, I know a lot of people have been ragging me on me but about that protocol stuff. But, you know, I look at it logically. Again, I'm going to pre present both sides of the story. You got guys that are hardcore protocol. Then you got guys, you know, that are thrown around the new term constitution. And the other argument is, and I think they really do start making a good basis for their argument, is, well... You want our help during motorcycle profiling. You want us to back you. But here you are trying to take the same rights you're claiming that they're trying to take from you. The feds. Think about that for a minute. When you engage in the protocol and stuff like that, you are turning people against you. When you say, well, you can't do this or you can't do that. Well, next thing you know, you get embroiled in... Uh, a, mo a motorcycle profiling type of act and they're like well screw you you tried to do it to us why do we care so think about it that's just you know uh, a logical person would think about that on the subject with two sides of the story and I know a lot of people hate getting two sides of the story and the reason why they hate it is because they always want their side to be right it's not about being right it's about keeping the lifestyle that you guys love alive. And the way it's going right now, you know, I always base it on the manufacturer numbers. And why do I do that? There is less and less more people coming into the motorcycle scene. That means there's less and less more people that will join a motorcycle club. Now, take another thing. We did a poll. And we're not talking about one of these polls where you only poll 1,200 people. No, we had a long running poll at the beginning of the year or at the end of last year where we just let it roll and roll and roll and the numbers came in and only 30% support motorcycle clubs. Think about that. 30%, that's it. That means 70% either don't support them or really don't care. Just think about that. Because these new jacks don't equate club profiling and all that stuff to them. So, yeah, maybe people should say, you know what? It might be time to change. Who cares if somebody puts on a damn patch? I, I'll never wear one again. Uh, you know, uh, and that's another thing. Uh, some been uh, complaining about me pushing riding clubs and the AMA. Well, that's where a lot of people, you know, because a lot of people just want to ride and stuff like that. They don't want to be embroiled in politics, which means, yeah, they might have aspirations of joining a club and stuff like that, but many are not ready for one. So, yeah, we push that angle because, hey, this has all kinds of subsections of uh, groups within it. So, yeah, that's why I do it. But swinging everything back around and not going on and on and stuff like that. 
we will not break what our business is built on and that's fairness straight down the middle and we will not go in the copyright violation i don't care how bad a story is it's a story that needs to get out there and those in the biker community need to make their decision now we can be like you know the conspiracy network cnn msnbc fox news all that stuff and only present the one side but what does that really accomplish? Does that change anything? Does that help a particular uh, scene out? No, it doesn't. Only going straight down the middle and seeing the people's opinions will it help change things. For the better, I believe, there's a debate. I love having a debate. So with that, hopefully, you know, the NCOM, uh, you know, and I do appreciate it. You know, I got uh, the Entertainer of the Year from NCOM. I really support NCOM. But hopefully NCOM and its member clubs understand the position we're in and will understand that, you know, only a fair publication is going to give you a fair shot. Not these uh, conspiracy opinion sites. You know, it might give you a feel-good type of feeling, but in the end, it not only makes those sites look like idiots, it makes you guys look like idiots because the public ain't buying it when they see, you know, this guy going down for meth or this chapter going down for heroin or this chapter shooting up one place or this chapter blowing up a clubhouse. <laughs> They don't care about the uh, motorcycle club, motorcycle gang uh, definition at that point. What they see is lives being ruined. And in this environment, nowadays, it's not acceptable to them. So, we are here to help you guys if you need to help. But please do understand, we will not be swayed one way or another on a story. We Basically, what that means is... A club comes to us, hey, can you put this out? Well, okay, what we're going to do is go through the process of uh, checking the story out, all that good stuff. And if it checks out, yeah, we'll print it. But if not, we won't print it just to put out propaganda for clubs. We are not a propaganda machine here at Insane Throttle. Yes, we get a lot of people on HarleyLiberty.com. A lot of, uh, you know, thousands of websites around the world pull from us which is an RSS feed. They put it right up on their sites, the stuff we have. So, yeah, there's a big following. Yeah, you know, social media I haven't really hit, or, you know, I should be hitting YouTube more, but we're mostly uh, a radio show when it comes to Motorcycle Madhouse. You know, Biker Angle, yeah, we're putting up on our regular site, which, by the way, raw and uncensored. Just click on the uh, the page on HarleyLiberty.com. You'll get a lot more than... Uh, the way I talk now because you know all the other platforms Facebook YouTube they got all these restrictions on what you can do or they'll just pull the video and shut your channels down so with that I hope we explained everything for you guys and you know we're gonna put that matters behind you and us so thanks for your time <laughs>